file. Navigate to the Documents folder where we find the newly rewrapped master. Click Open to load it into the target player. If we scrub into the program, we can see the new audio tracks, and at 8 seconds, the center channel comes in on track 5. Moving forward, we can see the lower third video fix that is still needed. Let's make a switch here and locate the same master file in Finder. Open it into the QuickTime player and scrub into the program to find the video change we need to make. Here it is, the wrong lower third title. Let's leave this open and switch back to CineX Insert. We need to set some edit points, so let's move the playhead to the title start. Using the keyboard I key sets an endpoint. We can now move forward to the end of the title. The arrow keys move the playhead frame by frame, and O sets the out point. OK, the in and out points are set on the target file, so let's load the source material. On the left, select Open Source File. Navigate again to the USB drive. Our master, or target, is ProRes, so naturally we could use a ProRes source file, and it could be VBR or CBR. However, Depending on your production environment, creating specific file types can be a challenge, so having the flexibility to use different source formats can be advantageous. To highlight this capability, let's select the DNX source file and let CineX Insert automatically transcode the DNX to ProRes during the insert. We could simply set an in or out point to define the three-point edit, but having originated from the same timeline, these files have matching time code, so we can use another feature, the ability to copy points from one side to the other. These buttons with an arrow are to copy edit points. Selecting this sets matching points into the other window. This is just a video fix, so in the middle, we don't need to turn on audio or close captions. And now we can select Insert. Again, the process is not real time, and it's only limited by the speed of your system. That's done. We can step through the edit point. The wrong lower third has been replaced. Let's switch back over to the QuickTime player where the master is still loaded. If we play it a bit, we can see that the change has been written into the file. So that's a run through of rewrapping a file, adding and filling some audio tracks, and performing a basic insert edit. If all you ever needed for is doing basic file fixes, CineX Insert can be an incredible time saver. Being optimistic, after editing is done, a typical one hour show takes about two hours to finalize, an hour to export, and another hour to QC. In reality, it can take even longer. If you then need to make even a simple change, you have to re-export the show and then QC the new file. That's another two hours. With CineX Insert, you only export what you need. You do the insert and QC just that changed section. Two hours becomes just two minutes. Adding different slates to a completed show also takes about two hours per file. An hour for each export and an hour to QC. And then you do the next one. With CineX, you export and QC the show once make checksum validated copies, insert the new content at the top, and QC just the top of each file. To put a cost on it, in a typical scenario, it takes about two hours to make a timeline change, export, and QC a file. The cost varies at different facilities, but it adds up to real money. It takes almost no time to export out a seven second change, and it might take you two minutes to insert that fix into the master with CineX Insert, which amounts to just pennies. That's two minutes, or a few dollars, versus hundreds. OK, that's the end of this CineX Tools tutorial section. If you have questions, please feel free to get in touch via the CineX Tools website. And have a look at CineDeck.com to learn about our incredibly flexible recorders.